as most of you know I've put a lot of videos on here from Sturgis well I noticed that I hadn't put this one on there no 2002 so I went through my archives and I found it that's why I'm putting it on now these are the people that went with us of course that one guy on the green we lost him right off the bat I don't know where he went first night we had to stay in uh, what was that Idaho Falls because my buddy there had a flat tire so we were still 650 miles away from Sturgis the next day we got the tire fixed and didn't get out of town till 10 o'clock well 10 o'clock in the morning was a late start but we did 650 miles and ended up at hog heaven at midnight and this was it next morning we got up and went into town I should say we got up early we even ran into our old friend Spanky out there you'll see a picture of him later that's one right there of him it doesn't look like him does it my stepson bought this bike for 350 bucks and rode it all the way out and rode it all the way back he was the ripe age of 16 he turned 17 out there that was his birthday he couldn't get into the bars naturally but he could see enough from the parking lots that made him happy this is our campground down there so he could see that then we all went downtown now I'm just gonna throw some general road Sturges noise on here so you guys can uh, hear what it sounds like hey there's Spanky what do you know here we go guys enjoy if you were there in 2002 you may see yourself but you definitely will be able to compare 2002 to 2019 18 or any other year that you went there's the boys here we go downtown There were all types of bikes down there, from rat rods, or rat, what do you call those? Then there's uh, Sturge's Finest right there. But also, uh, you had these little mini bikes running around. You'll notice the choppers were totally different in 2002 than they are now. Nobody's running no 36 inch front tire back then. And they're clean looking. Well, there's your tattoo plenty of shops down there to get them plenty of girls to sell you anything and if you're not buying they ain't happy so you got to spend your money these little girls running all over I think the ones they're using now for the Budweiser girls and uh, other things are much prettier but these girls are nothing to laugh about then you got a little bit on the older side of women selling their wares everywhere you look there's a good-looking girl or a good looking woman. We tried to look at them all. There's my buddy. We call him Drifty Dan. We never know where he's at. see many choppers like that anymore down there you still see these kind of ladies I think they're uh, playboy bunnies and the girls when it's warm you know they get hot they gotta you know dress right youngins everywhere that's what I mean about no big front wheel this little girl was having a little trouble with her sportster, but she got it going. Big back fenders, fishtails, fat boy style wheels, 57 Chevys were running a big block motor in it. They sound great. It was way more crowded 
in 2002 than it has been in the last few years. Sturgis has slowly been going down in population or popularity I should say. Lots of stuff for sale. These next few bikes here uh, were for sale. I don't think that one was. But these were all uh, at the Corbin tent. You can still pick up motorcycles down there. You just got to have a big checkbook. Totally different bikes than nowadays. I think I like the old style better. I wonder if any of you out there own some of these bikes now. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? If you do, give me some comments. Even if you don't, give me some comments. This is us. Myself. That's my stepson on the end. Awful yawning there. And nomadic. Wow, there's some people. Okay, back to who I was saying was all there. My friend Terry, he took his uh, young son, Jeremy. There's Terry. He's also known as American Nomads. on the YouTube channel. I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Well, he took his son, uh, yeah, right there. That's his son. That's Jeremy and Terry. That was uh, Jeremy's first and last trip there, and I don't think Terry's been back since then. It's also uh, my stepson's first trip and last trip. Full throttle. Now, I took a lot of pictures there, and 90% of them YouTube wouldn't appreciate. So, we're just going to show you the burnout pit. Terry's son went down there, and he did a burnout, and he got to sign the wall. The object, I guess, was to burn them tires down to nothing and blow them out. Well, Jeremy didn't do that. We had to get home on that bike. A lot of people must have had a lot of tires, but he got to sign the wall. That's him. And that's him in there. He was riding a Buell. This guy's the one that blew it, rode the, uh, did the burnout until the tire blew. A lot of them blew more than that. Not my, not my cup of tea. Went up 800 miles from home. There you go, blown tire, glued pipes. I'm telling what the motor looks like. Once again, plenty of girls. This is in full throttle. Take a look. Has it changed? Well, it ain't even there no more. So if you were there before it burned down, maybe you'll recognize a few things. But this was pretty early in its development. You notice they hardly had anything out in the middle there. None of the stages, big trucks. But they did have the bull. There's a better view. 2002 was a good year. Lots of people. There's a good view of the full throttle. Notice all the stuff that's not there. They started putting a lot of stuff in there in Angie Land. up on the deck of the full throttle. Uh, yep, I'm just showing the deck. That's all I'm showing. Yeah, sure. 
I bet this is interesting to some of you that really love the full throttle. I liked it there. We went there in 2008 for my wife's, uh, right before we got married. There you go, guys. 2002 Sturges. Hope you enjoyed that. That's my stepson Eric right there. We'll see you later. Bye.